Yo, listen, man. Hey, y'all like my uh my 2016 intro? <laughs> Before this video gets started, by the way, if you did not know, Toriyama, okay, the creator of Dragon Ball, had passed away recently. He had plenty of more years in him, man. So it sucks that we're losing somebody so early. I know this is a Bleach video, but I did grow up watching Dragon Ball, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you did too. So for the remainder of this video, I'm gonna make sure I flaunt this T-shirt, okay, in honor of my man. Yes. Toriyama. Anyways, if you did not know, Type Soul is actually getting updated again. The game hasn't been consistently updated since like, I don't even know, eight months now or something. And that's really the main reason why Type Soul died. It was just not getting updated. They hired a new set of developers now though to try to revive the game. So yeah, today I will just be going over everything that you need to know before this game opens up again. All right, so if we go over to the Type Soul Discord here, man, you can see the announcement. You can see right here, okay it says that i am setro booming i'm the owner of type memo you can read everything if you want basically the new set of developers for type soul were people who worked on a type soul copy a lot of people wanted me to play copies me i personally am not a fan of playing copies so you would never cast me on a type soul copy okay i just like the idea sounded stupid but i'm glad that type soul is now getting updated you can see right here though he says that the game is currently closed but will reopen with constant active updates he then talks about there isn't going to be a data wipe so you're going to keep all your characters do not worry about that there will be ways for public players to actually earn titles now so if you wanted to become a captain or something you have a chance to earn it now so that's pretty cool you can see right here they're saying that that once type soul opens up again updates will occur every week weekly updates i like that already y'all knew the old type soul was getting updated every three months the slow updates was also what led to its eventual downfall you can see right here he's saying that the game should be coming out by the end of the month but he doesn't like setting release dates so hopefully by the end of this month type soul does reopen again my bills need to be paid man you know sneaks will be shown to update progress eventually within the time frame and i actually got a special exclusive sneak to show y'all real quick man All right, I'm going to go through the suggestion channel real quick just to show y'all the reactions the community had to the people that were suggesting stuff. I ain't going to lie. Jordan Michael can type in here, but I can't, bro. If y'all know, y'all know, bro. Jordan Michael is an infamous name for the wrong reasons. <laughs> okay, so there isn't going to be a data wipe, by the way. Okay, that's the first suggestion. And then this guy talks about how there was people um grinding on alts to get like the ranked rewards. So the Ruin Sword obviously was like the rank reward. All those things things are going to be wiped out of people's data okay so um the kampachi blade the ruin sword anything that you got from ranked rewards are just going to get banished from your inventory they don't want people having those anymore so that's like the only thing in the game that they're taking away from people you can see right here full bringers a new race yes sir a lot of people like full bringers you might see some full bringers vasto rage you can see a lot of likes here 182 dislikes though people don't like vasto rage man <laughs> My man's over here said make type soul available to PlayStation and they can just play with the keyboard plugin Xbox 2. So this is basically saying type soul won't be Xbox compatible with the controller. But if you have a doo doo PC, make the game available to your console so that you can just plug your keyboard in and play through your console, I guess. And I never thought about that, honestly. That's actually pretty cool. They said add slots, but don't charge for it, man. Hey, you know they gotta bank bills somehow, man. <laughs> If they add slots, you know they're going to charge for it. But yeah, slots would be good too because I'm tired of just hopping on alts. A position re-roll for your sword. Okay. There's a barber NPC. Barber NPC would actually be nice. Add more unique Sero types. This guy's saying type soul controller support. Nobody want that, bro. Hey, man. We got a lot more things to worry about than some controller players. I'm sorry. This guy just brought out a bunch of factions and races, as you can see. People like that suggestion. And then this guy is saying that no need for new races until the other races are fine-tuned to the point where they're all fun to play without one race being stronger than the other. A lot of people agreed with that too. I will also attest to that. The other races definitely need to get fleshed out first. 
you can see the owner right here says if a new race is ever added which is highly unlikely it would be bouncer fullbringer so the thought of having a new race into this game isn't even a thought really this guy's saying adding on to end game content add more world bosses in the cutscene for when they spawn and you will get reward drops so you know you can get yamamoto's cloak if you beat the yamamoto boss and i know from insider knowledge okay i can tell y'all that they are adding something like this where you had to fight certain npcs to get certain drops so it's not going to be on some jadambo shit you know where you got to have the whole server gang up on him but it's going to be an npc that you probably have to 1v1 i don't know yet but something like that is planned true hog variant reroll to clan wars they need that yeah i'm gonna be honest bro like some people don't want to go regen variant man let people go what they want man that was the problem with type soul 2 bro they was always trying to gatekeep something bro there was a lot of stuff in this game that was just impossible no matter how many clan wars you grinded it was just crazy and i ain't gonna lie if you want to read the other suggestions you can um just check out the suggestion channel that's all i got here if we go to the sneaks real quick too you can see right here look at this man that's cold i ain't gonna lie the tight soul loading screen you see there's a new loading screen for type soul it's gonna be crazy man look at that all they're doing is giving this game the content that it deserves it's going to be the same type soul we all enjoyed but with more content obviously and i believe maybe the gui is going to get like an overhaul i'm gonna have to ask the owner that from the looks of this it looks like stark saguna is gonna be in the game because you can see right here it's the start gun so start saguna is finally coming out after type so re-releases i'm definitely gonna be on that all right anyways i'm gonna go ahead and interview the owner now and see what he's got to say about the game okay so will there be more ways to obtain clan and shikai rerolls for free yeah um there's gonna be a couple of ways to get like more stuff that you want mm -hmm. for free without having to like go through a giant paywall or cringe like progression like kill someone 100 times i want to make things more accessible okay so um following up with that question will clan wars have like more incentives to winning so like maybe there's a multiplier to get um a clan reroll or something if you're on a win streak in clan wars um i don't know about like a multiplier like a thing that like mm -hmm. gives you more stuff if you win but i will like make things more accessible like all the trash drops that are in the pool mm -hmm. i want to take them out and actually put like the real drops in there okay um i'm gonna have more drops as well and just more incentive in clan wars like just more stuff so that people like it's not just like you're doing it because you want the new drops but you're also doing it because you want to play the game if that makes sense i remember Remember hopping on clan wars back then bro and just you know winning 10 clan wars in a row just to get nothing so that kind of just suck is nothing still going to be a drop in clan wars no no okay so you're bound to get something then okay yeah all right the next question is once the you know the whole game releases again how frequent do you want these updates to come out um we're probably gonna do weekly like deep mm -hmm. but if it's not a weekly it'll be two or three days oh okay a lot of updates man all right so with how replacing captains and everything's going to work obviously you talked about you know if there's a current captain right now that's inactive and doesn't want to play the game anymore there's going to be new people to take the spot right so with those new people if they ever do become like a captain or an espada are they going to get specs or is everything from now on just going to be obtainable by everybody whether it's like an essence or you know a new skill box um essences are gonna get removed okay so like if you had like any type of like old spec essence it's gone nozorashi ruin it's gone mm -hmm. like it's already removed um for the titles with like actual specs and stuff yeah the only people who are gonna have specs is the head captain the almighty and the king of waco okay and every title is just going to be a title it's not gonna have a spec not even I like hp or rayatu anymore either or what's up no, no. Have, they'll have hp and ray like okay they just like, won't have any type of special moves anymore yeah, yeah, yeah. they won't have any special moves okay i want to like so like titles aren't spec carried and just like specs overall were just like a nuisance in the real game at least when it released publicly in cc it was cool but it didn't have any business being in public so okay so you said essences are gonna get removed so stuff like grasp too is that what you mean like grass essence glory yeah that stuff all that's gonna get the, removed yeah the reuse specs 
that like they gave people publicly as essences mm -hmm. is gone okay yeah. so then does that mean there's just going to be more skill box moves or more moves to the base trees in general um there's more skill tree moves yeah there's more skill mm -hmm. boxes and i keep saying that their compensation for the essences will be like the update but to be like more transparent the essences that are being removed are being replaced with new ones that are actually like new moves not just like reskin specs like they're actually new essences that you can use with your build and like be viable oh with. okay so then the whole essence concept is still staying in the game it's just not gonna be like a recycled spec anymore yeah it's staying okay okay for the people that did have essences will they be recompensated with like an essence drop on release or what mm -hmm. they'll get something i don't know if they'll get an essence drop though okay okay somebody asked if the progression was going to remain the same so like getting to elite grade um it's going to be easier easier stuff okay is gonna be like, stuff is going to be less tedious less tedious okay more stuff to do. i want to add like more stuff to do as you're progressing and just like in-game stuff too but overall it's like the the 24 hours you spent just trying to get bankai or 48 hours like it shouldn't it shouldn't take that long okay so then is the bankai method not staying the same then it's going to be less tedious yeah, it's going to be less okay and then how about stuff like getting true visor uh true vasto is that staying the same um the items might stay the same mm -hmm. the obtainment might be different okay okay somebody asked if there's going to be new game modes coming to clan wars yes okay and with the new loading screen people have been wondering if like the whole ui for the game is going to get an overhaul so like your inventory when you open up the menu too and everything like that is that like getting a ui overhaul yeah the new ui is like completely just like that was to show that like the production of um um, what's coming there's gonna be new stuff just like generally like a new ui new skills new everything because like we just want people to like see like the effort okay okay and speaking of new skills too are there going to be finally like um how do i explain it like 60 level skills like if you put 60 points into a tree is there going to be exclusive moves for that or what there's going to be stuff like that um i don't want to spoil like what's like being added because there's a nuova already talked about it there's like a system in place mm -hmm. where we're going to make people one more yeah i don't want to explain it but it's going to be really cool for the people who like doing like hakata bro if you like enjoy playing hakata you're going to love this like update that's coming like then you're going to like it. okay okay and uh so you said that nothing from your copies is going to get recycled into this game already is there going to be because i know that you have said before that you did want like a variety of stuff to come out that didn't have to be bleached kind of like how peroxide did but are you going to release more bleach stuff in the beginning before you you know do whatever you want or what um there's a lot of bleach stuff right now that we've made mm -hmm. but there's a lot of non-canon stuff too okay so you think it's like bleach. a fair mix of yeah, it's both not, it's not even a mixture it's more bleach stuff but more I bleach stuff okay the, i still want to keep the aesthetic of just like it doesn't have to be bleach you know like mm -hmm. it can be original it just has to like fit and it fits i, I think people will like it a lot okay so but, yeah there you go guys i know a lot of people were kind of worried about it people were saying that you know they still wanted the game to stick to bleach the most you're gonna get is you know a lot of bleach stuff and if things aren't bleach specifically it's not gonna be you know ripped off from any other anime it's still gonna keep the bleach aesthetic right basically yeah. is what you're saying okay yeah and the last question is how are you going to make the replayability of this game fun when it comes to end game and stuff like that keep people playing the game basically um I can't really say that without spoiling with okay uh, so you you got stuff cooked up though huh yeah I, yeah we got we got a lot of stuff playing i just can't really say it without like spoiling it because i don't want people to like i yeah, want i, I want it to be like not like rogue but like when you join the game it's like dang there's a lot of stuff to do now like i can actually play hey, the that's game good without... news y'all that's good news yeah. man you know it's more than just loading up the clan wars but yeah. i actually don't think that's necessarily a bad thing too for people who just want to play clan wars all day so hopefully you make clan wars less boring with like you know the new game modes you already you already got a w going on with the uh the no drops not being a thing anymore that was yeah. kind of annoying but yeah man y'all can trust in my man setro bro because he was once a type soul player so everything that he found annoying can be fixed oh yeah i already know that you spoke on this but it's been like i think a week now since you made the announcement do you think 
in terms of re-releasing the game since you already said you know there's been a lot made already you think releases for certain gonna come out before this month ends or towards the end of this month for sure now or what if the progress that we made stays consistent it should i'm not saying that it will but it should that menu that you saw was made in a day i'm just i'm just letting you know okay that was made y'all heard it here man you know y'all gotta get ready for tight soul oh yeah people wanted to know if uh slots were gonna be a thing character slots yes character slots yes. okay okay hey man y'all get ready for tight soul it is now or never fist of a guy like rock lee leg weight all can't stop me drunken fist at top speed eight gates flow get pop deep.